Hi everyone, this is Mrs Taylor and today I'm going to be talking to you about Mrs Johnston from Blood Brothers. So, as you're all familiar with Mrs Johnston, she is arguably the most important character in the whole play. She is the one that is the mother of all the children, she is the one that gets in herself into all this trouble. She is a very loving character, but she's very vulnerable, she's very weak, she's uneducated, she's lonely. She hasn't got a husband, we hear that her husband has left her, that he used to take her dancing, that they were married, they had children, but as soon as she got pregnant again, she started to put weight on, she started to look older, he left her, so we know he wasn't a very nice person. And she's, she's very alone, she's very vulnerable, and she's struggling. She lives in a small house with her children. She can't control them properly. She hasn't got enough money. The first scene is where she is... Well, there's a debt collector there. The milkman's there. And he says, I'm going to stop your milk unless you give me some money. And she hasn't got the money. And she's begging him. She's saying, I'm pregnant. I need the milk. But he doesn't care. Okay, So from the fact that she can't even afford milk, we see how desperate she is, how kind of poor she is because that's quite a cheap item and she can't afford it okay she finds out she's pregnant again obviously not what she wanted so she got pregnant just for her husband left and she's she's really worried but then she gets a job she gets a job with mrs lyons cleaning her house okay so that's really good for mrs johnston she's got this little bit of income and she thinks we've got another baby coming but we'll be able to manage like she says, with seven hungry mouths to feed and one more due, my husband, he walked out on me. Okay, so she's on her own. We know her husband's walked out on her. She's got a lot of mouths to feed, so she needs this job, this little cleaning job with Mrs Lyons. Like she says here, but look, look, I start a job next week. I'll have money coming in and I'll be able to pay. Okay, this is when she says to the, the milkman that please give me some milk. I've got a job. I'll be able to give you the money. But no one gives her a chance. Okay, she's typical of this working class mother who is trapped in the poverty cycle. No one cares for her. No one will give her a chance. She's all on her own. So she gets this job with Mrs. Lyons. Everything seems to be great. And then she finds out she's having twins. Okay, this is obviously terrible news for Mrs. Johnston because she can't really afford eight children, never mind nine. Okay, but what does Mrs. Lyons do? Mrs. Lyons sees her opportunity and sees her opportunity to kind of manipulate Mrs. Johnston and take one of her babies. Although it might seem that she's doing her a favour, really she isn't, is she? Because she says, I'll have one of your babies, Mrs. Johnston. And you can come and see them every day. You can come all the time to see your children. But it's the way she shapes it, isn't it? She tells, she kind of um, manipulates her into thinking that she can't look after the children anyway. One of the quotes is, with two more children, how can you possibly avoid some of them being taken into care? And obviously, Mrs Johnston, yes, she's poor and she may have made some bad decisions, but she loves her children and she doesn't want them taken into care. So Mrs Lyons wins. Mrs Lyons, she, well, she agrees to take one of the babies... And Mrs. Lyons makes Mrs. Johnston swear in the Bible. Now, Mrs. Johnston is very superstitious. So as soon as Mrs. Lyons finds this out, she makes her swear in the Bible. And she uses a superstition to, against her. Because she knows that if Mrs. Johnston thinks the boys are in danger, then she won't do anything to make that happen. She won't do anything to kill them. So we've got here Mrs. Lyons. You won't tell anyone about this, Mrs. Johnston, because you, if you do, you'll kill them. As soon as she does that, we know that Mrs. Johnston is scared and she won't do anything. She won't try and get her child back because when she actually gives birth, Mrs. Lyons takes the baby and we see that Mrs. Johnston's regretting it a little bit. We really do. But after a while... When she has that week off, she goes back and she looks at Edward and she sees he's being looked after and she's fine. She doesn't really seem to be that bothered, but it's not until Mrs Lyons sees her looking at the baby, sees her trying to pick up the baby, Mrs Lyons gets a little bit crazy and decides to sack her. So she gives her some money and tells her to go away. So Mrs Johnston's stuck, isn't she? She's stuck. She can't tell anyone that she's given one of her babies away because Mrs Lyons has said that she'll go to prison. And obviously if she goes to prison, all her other children will be taken. So poor Mrs Johnston. She's showing that she's uneducated, that she's misguided, and she's very weak. She's being completely exploited by Mrs Lyons and there's nothing she can do about it. 
As the story goes on, we see that Mrs. Lyons is still str- no, sorry, Mrs. Johnson is still struggling, but she gets moved. They get a new house, and that's kind of a new start for her, isn't it? And she's really happy about this, and they seem to be getting on okay. When the boys meet up again, Mrs. Johnston gives Edward a locket. And this is kind of the way we see the connection between the two, isn't it? Edward doesn't take this locket off. He really likes Mrs. Johnston. He doesn't really know why. And Edward obviously keeps this locket on forever, which gives us as an audience an indication that they will meet up again, that he will find out. Okay, so fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Mrs. Johnston tries her best to keep her children on track, but unfortunately she can't on her own. She really, really struggles. Sammy gets into lots of trouble, and he gets Edward into lots of trouble. So with them in prison, again, she takes Linda and Mickey in, and she's trying her best, but it just doesn't seem to work. It's not until the very, very end when we see that Mrs. Lyons tells Mickey that Linda and Edward are having an affair, and Mrs. Johnston goes to try and stop Mickey doing anything stupid. But by that time, it's too late, and she has to watch both of her sons die. She watches Mickey shoot Edward, albeit accidentally, and then she watches the police shoot Mickey. Okay, so Mrs. Johnston's life is rubbish from the start to the beginning. She's a complete victim of working class. She's a victim of society. She doesn't get help. She's poor and she's trapped in this cycle of poverty. And it's a real, real shame for her. Okay, so just to review, we've got Mrs. Johnston, who's a working class mother, no husband, very little poor, sorry, very little money, and she's trapped in this cycle of poverty we always feel sorry for mrs johnston even though the decisions the the decisions she makes maybe we don't agree with but she does them out of love and she does them because she's misguided okay so that is about it for mrs johnston really really quick overview of her obviously there's much more to mrs johnston so you can go on youtube have a look at some videos there you can have a look in the um revision books, make sure you've got your quotes from Mrs. Johnston and you make sure you know everything about this character. Okay, thanks for listening. Good luck, Year 11.